In a modern world where maritime power is key to regional dominance, one Southeast Asian nation is building its strategy not with a massive fleet or expensive stealth vessels, but with a simple yet deadly approach. Today we'll discuss the Philippines' latest defense innovation that could change the balance of power in the South China Sea. An unmanned surface vessel called the Pallet, a local innovation that could prove a nightmare for even the most advanced warships. At first glance, this vehicle looks like an ordinary Bona, a small wooden boat commonly seen in Philippine waters. However, beneath its unassuming appearance hides an autonomous suicide drone. It's not a foreign product, but rather the product of engineering by engineers from Mindanao State University. This is the new face of Philippine maritime defense. Innovation based on local realities, low cost, and maximum impact. The unmanned vessel was officially unveiled to the public at the Self-Reliant Defense Posture SRDP, Summit in Manila. The event witnessed the birth of a new strategy, blending distinctive local maritime designs with modern technology, creating a defense system suited to archipelagic waters and asymmetric conflicts. According to development engineer Rembrandt Kokon, it's a suicide drone disguised as a civilian vessel but inside is a 150 kilogram bomb. And not just any bomb, a dumb bomb with no guidance, designed to explode immediately upon contact with a high value target, such as an enemy ship's radar or propulsion system. Simple, deadly, and nearly undetectable. Imagine a sophisticated, multi-billion dollar warship patrolling the West Philippine Sea. Its advanced sensors and radar are fully operational. But all that appears on the screen is a small wooden boat. Unthreatening. Within seconds, a massive explosion hits, and the ship's systems are crippled. That's the true power of the pallet drone, using limitations as strengths. This drone was born in the wake of the National Self-Reliance Defense Strategy, as enshrined in the SRDP Revitalization Act. DND Assistant Secretary Osto Gate asserted, We can't compete conventionally with a country like China, but our advantage lies in asymmetric tactics. This is a smart strategy from a country that knows its limitations and chooses to think outside the box. The Pallet USV has a maximum weight of 650 kilograms, can carry 120 liters of fuel, and can operate for up to 48 hours on battery power. Furthermore, it is connected to the Starlink Satellite Communications Network, making it ideal for long-range reconnaissance and strikes in vast and remote maritime areas. The first prototype began development in July 2025 thanks to a research grant from the Department of Economic, Planning, and National Development. It is hoped that within the next two years, this unmanned vessel can be mass-produced or even exported. This step marks a new milestone in the development of a self-sufficient and export-oriented national defense industry. According to military analyst Chester Cabalza, this drone is a promising start. He added that during the 2017 Marawi siege, aerial drones helped Philippine forces defeat ISIS militants. Therefore, an unmanned vessel like the Pallet is a logical continuation of that success, this time for naval warfare. It is worth noting that the Philippines has received four T-12 Manta, an advanced semi-submersible drone, from the United States, as part of a $500 million military assistance program. While capable, these systems are complex and heavily dependent on foreign technical support. In contrast, the Pallet offers operational independence and tactical simplicity at a much lower cost and logistical cost. One of the pallet's greatest strengths is its decentralization. Without the need for large bases or aircraft carriers, these drones can be launched from any shore of any of the 7,600 islands. This is a strategy perfectly suited to the Philippines' geography, vast, 
dispersed and challenging to defend traditionally. More than just a combat tool, the pallet symbolizes the rise of the nation's ingenuity and creativity. With a limited budget, the Philippines can compete not on quantity but on intelligence and adaptability. With asymmetric technology, defense can be carried out without sacrificing economic stability. As the pallet's development continues, all eyes will be on the results of its trials and field deployments. But one thing is clear, in the era of modern conflict, even the simplest weapons can have the most devastating effects. So, when you see a small boat floating on the horizon, it may not be just a fisherman, but part of a sophisticated maritime defense strategy. Thank you for watching today's discussion. If you're interested in defense developments and military modernization in the Indo-Pacific region, don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. See you in the next video.